What's up, crypto family? I'm back with another update. As you guys see right now, Ethereum ETFs likely to go live by end of summer. This is what Gary Gensler says. So, you know, a lot of people can't just listen to Gary Gensler. He just be with that riff rap. He just be talking. He doesn't want nobody to become millionaires or billionaires. I don't know why. You once you get once you get into you know the politics or whatnot or into the government, like you tend to make a lot of money. At first, you just only have fifty thousand dollars in your bank account when you first started working. Now all of a sudden you're a millionaire. How does that go? But that can happen for us because while we invest into these digital assets early and we are futures millionaires and billionaires. So I'm gonna read this to you guys right quick. And this is also bullish for Doge Lamars. You know what I'm saying? You guys see what happened when Bitcoin ETF start uh popped out and started trading. A lot of people, a lot of people was dumping their money into Bitcoin, not just in the Bitcoin, but other digital assets, and the prices were roaming up. It was man, it was it was crazy. So let's read this. The S1 approvals for the spot Ethereum exchange traded funds likely will take a hold sometimes this summer. Gary Gensler, chair of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, said on Thursday, recall on May 23rd when the SEC approved spot Ethereum ETFs to be listed, but that was an initial clearance. The SEC told prospective and uh, issuers on May 30th to turn in draft S1 registration forms by May 31st. Approvals of the registration forms would immediately enable the products to start trading in the U.S., Individual issuers still are working through the registration process. Gensler said in a hearing at the U.S. Senate Committee on Appropriations, the block reported. So as you guys see here, you know, hopefully, you know, the ETFs, you know, Ethereum will be trading this summer. And with that being said, like, man, just by the Ethereum ETF trading, we should see a pump. OK, we shouldn't be sitting at the high four thousands. We should be at least climbing on top of that, at least high eight thousands. You know, so you're not going to be able to buy Doge on Mars, uh, a billion tokens for one hundred seventy six dollars or two hundred dollars right now. OK, it's going to be a lot more higher, a lot more expensive where you guys could have got it for the low. <laughs> but don't let that go over your head. OK. Now, as you guys see right here, shout out to Watcher Guru. He says just then. World's largest bank, ICBC, says Ethereum is providing technical power for the digital future, and it's a digital oil. Damn. So basically, are you saying that <clears throat> most of these tokens, like it's going to be hard for people to really be scamming people out on, you know, these tokens on the Ethereum blockchain because it's going to be a lot. It's just going to be a very expensive to just, to, you know, create your token on the ethereum blockchain because you know ethereum is not going to be at twelve hundred dollars three thousand dollars anymore it's going to be a lot more higher than what you guys see right now so this is a major play for doge Long mars so if people are not hopped on to the train on anything on the ethereum blockchain they're lost in the sauce but i don't care if they are lost in the sauce because we have been holding Doge Long for a while since 2021. A lot of people fell off. A lot of people came in. But the whole story is about this. People are throwing out that FUD to make you sell your bags. They may not like you for some odd reason. That's how it goes. Some people are weird. They may not like you and just going to say, hey, uh, uh, the devs are pulling money out of Doge Long, this and this, to really make you question yourself, why am I holding this token? And then shit, a couple months later, all of a sudden, Doge on up. And then like you're like, man, why did I listen to this goofball? You know what I'm saying? So don't don't fall off and you know get to that point right there. Cause that's that's just crazy. Okay. Um shout out to Ash Crypto. He says, We are not broke. We are just waiting for that one God candle, which will send Bitcoin above 80K and Ethereum above 4,500. Then we will see alts pump 2X in a day. Our time will come. Honestly, I believe it will pump a lot more higher than just 2X. I'm not saying mark my words, but you never know, family. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I wanted to show this to you guys right quick. 
Um, Ash Crypto, he says, breaking 336,000 Ethereum worth 1.2 billion were withdrawn from Coinbase in the last 48 hours. This is the biggest Ethereum outflow from Coinbase in 2024. Also, Ethereum supply on exchanges have already hit a eight-year low. What does that mean? It's a lot more pressure built up to shoot up and rise, okay? Tojlon been low for the bottom for about what two years two years we're gonna see dogelon to explode with the ethereum etf trading to start soon ten thousand plus eth is just a matter of time what are you going to do shout out to dogelon bx superman he says going through some of my photos videos before work and came across this one take me back elon patiently waiting for the massive breakout as you guys see he's showing you his wallet okay ten thousand dollars worth of doge line you know uh 20 billion shout out to you and you know he's seen it go up and he's seen it go back down but he is still holding doge line so that's that's a plus you know what i'm saying so we do have holders in this space that are holding these tokens and not playing around so once again i appreciate you guys tapping in and locking in with crypto brown man just know that our time is not up we still have enough little time until they start trading and once they start trading that ethereum etf it's a wrap you know we're gonna have that pump shooting up a lot more higher than after that <laughs> but let the games begin peace out family make sure you get